Hey, what's going on friends, family? My name is Skylint, and today we're doing a pre-impression of Grand Saga. Grand Saga is going to be a supposed upcoming MMORPG that's going to be for PC and mobile devices. Uh, it's at least going to be free to play in Korea, I guess, I would hope, it being cross-platform as well, especially with mobile, it would be free to play in the West as well. Anyways, the trailer dropped recently, and I was able to look at it uh, finally, got some time around to check out some new games. Uh, lately, I've been trying to play more games, but it looks like you YouTube just wants me to talk about games that I can't play yet. So here we are, guys. And I think it's kind of fun, right, to talk about games. It's like, oh man, what, what is it going to be like and stuff like that. And this is an interesting game, especially because it is proclaiming to be an MMO. Um, I'm just going to immediately come out there and say it. No, probably not. Almost certainly not. But if it is an online RPG, I think that would be just as exciting. And uh, I guess let's go ahead and just talk about the trailer footage that you guys are seeing behind you. Gorgeous, right? And apparently, if you look in the bottom left here, it says actual in-game footage on a mobile device. And I don't know why I'm like dubious of that. It just like, this actually just looks like a good like modern PS4 game. This looks like a modern MMO. Like it looks like if this was a true MMO, this would be one of the most gorgeous and best looking. It would compete with stuff like BDO, but it's, there's just no way, right? There's just no way. Uh, however, e even if it is like maybe you could say an online action RPG, maybe it's four players, uh, which is to the extent that we see the gameplay be multiplayer. Actually, uh, later in the trailer, we're going to see some dungeon footage that looks serious. But the actual gameplay, it does look like open field ish. I don't even know if you can call this action exactly combat. It looks action packed, but a lot of monsters kind of standing still ish. It looks like a lot of abilities uh, you kind of stand still with. So maybe it's probably going to be kind of stickier combat, more more similar to general RPGs versus action RPGs. Uh, but anyways, it'd be really fun still. Uh, but I think we're going to have some really good, I think, tactical boss fights. Uh, I wouldn't doubt if this game is actually more similar to something like Final Fantasy XIV, especially since this game, uh, at least with this trailer, seems heavily story based. Also, we're going to have characters, so not classes. Uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, we do have classes, and you can jump between them and everything. But this game looks like we're going to have characters, and they're probably going to expand the characters, something like Maple Story or Dragon Nest. And there's going to be a story intertwined with those characters as they interact with the other characters. But that's going to be your class. And some people call that gender locking. This is a really good example of a game, it seem seemingly, of doing it right, where there's going to be heavy story focus on these different characters with incredibly unique kits. Especially if this game does have a good focus on lots of boss fights. And these bosses, they're looking big. And I like that they, they didn't just show off one or two, but a number with really wild effects that really remind me of like Terra Endgame Final Fantasy XIV or so the really good stuff in World of Warcraft Endgame. M maybe even more bonkers. It looks seriously intense. Uh, now, if I had to pick a favorite class, though, I don't know. I think the, the, the crazy witch lolly is looking pretty fun, but... Uh, a gun bitch looks pretty fun too. Anyways, I don't know, what, what class are you guys going to play when you pick up this game? But Grand Saga, I'm also confused because this isn't a part of the grand universe of games, but maybe it is? Uh, can somebody clarify? Because I can't, can't quickly find that information. Uh, anyways, so I know there's a lot of grand blue games coming out and I'm looking forward to them. Oh man, actually the Sephiroth uh, Scythe Blade Chain Fist Weapon guy looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. It, this game could be exciting. It could be pretty lackluster, but I think uh, getting your hopes up for an, a full MMO, probably not great. Like as in like an actual, like actual massive open world content, um, really engaging auction house systems or economy of any kind, ecosystems really. It's going to be probably small teams running out into fields, doing stuff and things, diving dungeons and fighting epic bosses. Uh, would the gameplay mostly be focused on players kind of tutorializing uh, or running through a story? But I would love it if they do it like Final Fantasy XIV, where I guess the story can take place through the dungeons as well, carries on to the end game and constantly gets expanded upon. I'm getting that kind of vibe. I'm really getting a Final Fantasy, like an action bait, like a, like let's take Final Fantasy XIV and kind of merge it with action RPGs, uh, or I guess you could say like anime action RPGs, which would be something like Dungeon Fighter, uh, Dragon Nest, Vindictus, stuff like that. Um, merge those two, and I th I think that's that's kind of the game that we're going to get. Not only are we going to get that kind of game, which would look gorgeous on PC, but it's going to be cross-platform, PC and mobile. Uh, that just, you know, it, that sounds wild. 
that just sounds wild. So even even though it is proclaiming to be an MMORPG and even taking away the fact that it's probably not going to be, I'm still exceptionally excited for this game. Even though it's not, it doesn't seem like it's actually going to be that action based. It's going to be more kind of Final Fantasy like a little bit slower paced, more tactical. That's actually what I'm very excited about because there's a lot of games upcoming where it's it's really just mindless fun. Turn your brain off, hack and slash. And I'm totally all about that. Don't know if you've seen my channel lately, but it's kind of cool to take some of these ideas and especially these visuals and merge them with more tactical elements um, like we do see in MMOs uh, like Final Fantasy 14 or World of Warcraft. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty excited for Grand Saga. It does seem like the cast of kits or characters or classes are kind of small at the moment, but if it's free to play, games as a service, uh, just like Maple Story, they should constantly, consistently expand on that. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, uh, we got one gameplay trailer that it seems a little dubious. Like, is that really running on a phone? Uh, I don't know. But regard, well, it could be on like one of the one of like the super professional high end tablets, right? That's probably what it is. Um, I think it could be great. It does. There is going to there is no plans for a global release. That's that's something that we should mention here. I'm getting all excited and hype, right? Like, oh, it's coming next month or whatever. Ah, uh, no, this is going to release in Korea first. Hmm, you know, um, so that what Korean games seem to take forever to come to us. Uh, you know, just Eastern games in general, like Kingdom Under Fire, Blade and Soul took forever. Uh, Lost Ark is like taking forever. You know, it, eh, it really sucks. It sucks, but this game, maybe, you know, a mobile game, the games that come out on mobile seem to want to push to a global audience faster. Maybe I'm misremembering, but that is something to keep in mind. This game does look really cool, I think, especially if you do like games uh, in, in between the range of action RPGs and Final Fantasy XIV. This does look like a really cool game, but are we going to get it in the West? And then is it even going to be playable? Like, oh my God, especially as a mobile game, is this going to be playable if you try to use a VPN and then try, you know, it, even if it is a slower ish game, ah, uh, probably not. So this one, uh, you know, I'm putting it on the back burner. I'm still hype. I'm still excited. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 is looking really exciting for a lot of these upcoming hack and slash and MMOs, actually. Uh, Grand Saga, adding it to the list of games I'm exceptionally looking forward to. I think it's going to be great. Um, you know, like Blue Protocol and a few others. But, <laughs> like, when are we going to get them, boys? I don't know. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's all I got to say, basically. You know, it's hard, it's hard to get too excited or go too deep. Or you look into too much information when it's like, you know... We got we got years to go, basically. So let me guys, let me get let me know, guys. Um, what are some games you're waiting? You're just waiting to be ported over to the West. I know it's like Lost Ark. I, I know, I know you can't wait for Lost Ark. Uh, but is there any others that I should be interested in? I mentioned Blue Protocol. Make a list in the comments below. Let me know and bump thumb if you like the video or whatever. I'm gonna start doing. I wish I could, I wish I did a live reaction to this this trailer actually because the trailer blew me away. To be honest, it's a good looking trailer. It's cool. It looks really fun. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do more of those coming soon. More webcam stuff. I'm trying to be more more open and honest and real with you guys, um, whether you like it or not. But yeah, I, I don't know. Grand Saga, I am I am looking forward to it. It looks cliche, to be honest, in a lot of ways. But yeah, I still want to play it. You know, maybe, maybe this is just this is just my vice. <laughs> Anyways, guys, much love. I'll see you in the next one.
있을까? 어둠이여 날 뛰어라 <웃음> 